Topping the list of YouTube and other video sites are films of adrenaline-inducing exploits, from bungee jumping and giant roller coaster loop-de-loops to the roughest of wild water rides. People just can't get enough of these hair-raising flicks. But you know how it goes. You wait for half an hour, and then it's finally your turn. But after 25 seconds, it's already over. Not if you film your own thrill. You can relive it again and again. But still, water damage is not covered by your warranty, so you'd better play it safe. Special plastic freezer bags are a great solution. Use strong tape around the lens to make it fully waterproof, but leave the lens free. If done properly, you can still use the buttons and see the display. Now, what's so good about these new small cameras is that they fit easily in one hand, leaving the other one free for a steering wheel. Don't try this with a bigger camera though, you won't be able to hold it, even if they'd let you. Now here's the easiest piece of advice, film your ride twice. Yes, twice. The first time you point your camera forward so your audience can experience the speed and the excitement, and the second time you point the camera at yourself. Film that fear mid-screen, or is it just a euphoric adrenaline grin? And when you edit your stuff later on, just mix shots now and then. This really is the best way to relive all the thrilling action to the max. outcome of our little experiment. There's not a single drop of water on the camera. Yeah.